a low intraocular pressure technique like a FECO suction is probably the safest to manage a posterior subcapsular cataract. You can see a gentle capsular separating hydrodissection can be performed and it has separated the posterior subcapsular cataract from the posterior capsule. There is a central circular zone of capsule which is exposed to the fluid pressure. So low fluidics is of extremely important in managing these cases. If there is a high pressure in the anterior chamber or in front of the capsule or posterior capsule, there could be a tear because of a localized high pressure acting on the central capsule. So the nucleus and epinucleus mass now can be removed by trisecting it so that the tunnel that you have created is not enlarged or the collagen is damaged. After that you are left only with the cortex. Uh, there is no pressure increase in the anterior chamber at all at this stage and with, a, with an open chamber with uh, irrigation aspiration the, ca the uh, cortex can be aspirated from the capsular bag. Capsular bag is then polished including the equatorial area and the IOL is injected through a slit cartridge. So with this will minimize the pressure on the intraocular lens as, is, as it is injected into the capsular bag. So very elegant low pressure technique. There is no increased pressurization of the eye at any point of time and uh, uh, it gives great results. There is no need to hydrate the tunnel. Uh, there is a single tunnel. There are no side ports. And uh, as you have not stretched the collagen, there is no need to hydrate. You form the chamber and uh, remove the viscoelastic from the bag and uh, from behind the eye wall. The surgery is done under topical anesthesia and the eye is kept open immediately after surgery so that the patient is visually rehabilitated. Thank you.